I'm going to show you a real quick way to turn an old three ring binder into something a little bit more attractive. Recycle, reduce, reuse. This is a, well, let's start off with what it used to be. Alright, this used to be a binder that I used with when I was selling Pampered Chef stuff. I don't sell Pampered Chef stuff anymore. But this made a very good place for my son to keep the pages that he made. These are my, this little guy's first pages that he made. Um, so, let's see, I'm trying to remember how old they, these are kindergarten, pre-K kindergarten. So he was about five when he started making these pages. So those are his fr very first scrapbook pages. I love that I'm raising a scrapbooker. Anywho. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a lot of hair on this. I'm going to get a cloth, a little tissue to just wipe all the hair off because you don't really need hair or dirt or whatever on your project. I didn't realize this was that hairy. I think I have... My uh, friendly neighborhood cats to think. I have a lot of cats. Alright, now to cover it, I'm going to use this piece of handmade paper. Um, things that you could use to cover a, um, cover a, uh, a binder. You're going to want to use something that comes in a big sheet. You're not going to want to use little pieces. Um, I suppose you could use little pieces and then cover it with a piece of um, contact paper, shelf liner, clear. But this is more likely to stay in one piece. All right. And you just want to make sure that it's big enough so that you can pull paper over the edges. Okay. Um, you're not going to need to use all of this paper, but we're going to use a substantial chunk of it. Right. And we are going to use Mod Podge. This is a matte. You can use matte or glossy. You can use whatever you want in the way of glue. You just want to use a good quality paper glue. Um, I've used Perfect Paper Adhesive. I've used um, Glossy Accents. I've used Diamond Glaze. Oh my goodness. Um, so there's all sorts of things you can do. Apparently this is a new bottle. I didn't realize it was a new bottle. So you get to see me awkwardly open a new bottle. How much fun can you have? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, clear off those little pieces. Uh, I'm <laughs> dropping things on the floor. You can't see that on the, um, on the screen, but dropping things all over the place. Hair everywhere. We're gonna go for it. Okay, step one. Very simple. You're gonna put lots of glue right on the binder on the spine. Alright. Just layer it on nice even layer. Don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin. Um, you don't want to use a thin paper because thin papers will um, give you problems. Alrighty then. You just push it down on the paper. Make sure you still got room on each side. And look, I'm crooked. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, now. You can see it's already starting to eat here. Alright, next step, I'm going to put paint, put, uh, paint. I'm going to paint more adhesive all over the front cover of the binder. Making sure I'm getting good coverage on the edges. We'll be putting more glue on the edges as we fold it over. But for right now. Alright, now that I've got this covered, this this side covered, I'm just gonna 
push it down, press firmly. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the back side. Don't worry about getting glue on the hinge area, the hinge area between the two the pieces of the um, cardboard that make up the vinyl covered binder. You just it, if that can move freely, it's more likely to stay together than it is if you get that all glued down and have it end up uh, um, sticking and ripping. You want a little bit of give. Give is not a bad thing. Flexibility is good for us. Alright, and then we're just going to press that down. See, this is really quick and easy and fast, guys. Now, I'm going to get out some scissors. I'm going to use some smaller ones so I can control the cut better. And I know I want to cut here because I don't want to have paper up over that. So I'm cutting there. I'm going to turn it around and cut on the other side. Start with, starting with the spine. Now, here, on this corner, we're going to cut at an angle for each corner. You may not be able to see that. Let me adjust where this is. I think you'll be able to see that better. So I'm cutting toward, up towards each corner at an angle. And I'll save the scraps for some other project. You know what I'm doing? Wow. I'm recording a video. Right now. You just talked on it. <gasps> I said you just talked on my video. Is this live? It's recording. Aww. Aww. I love you. Okay, get out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. You don't need glue in your hair, do you? Hello. Stop. Can I see me? Yes, they can see you. Yay! <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Simon. Alright. I am making sure that I get the whole flap covered. And then I'm going to pull it up and over. my hands, I buff on my surface, and do the next lap. Now don't worry about if you get any glue on the outside of it, this dries clear, and it acts as a sealer. You may want to put a, a you might, may want to purposely put a coat of Mod Podge on the outside to act as a sealer to keep to protect it from, you know, spills or whatever. Um, if you do decide to coat it, you're going to want to do two or three coats and uh, um, let them dry thoroughly between layers. And um, you're going to want to spray with an acrylic sealer when you're all done just so that you don't have to deal with any um, stickiness because 
sometimes if it's humid, Mod Podge will remain sticky. Um, no matter how long you let it dry. So sometimes you need to actually seal it with an acrylic sealer spray. Okay. Now, you see that piece in the center? Take your favorite um, uh, piece of pattern paper, cut it to fit there, and Mod Podge it on. Um, I may have my son pick out some paper and do that for you guys. do just, um, cover just books. Um, I've done this to do things like, um, uh, I've covered a piece of plywood and used it to make a desk. I, uh, or a desk, a tabletop. I, uh, or a shelf. I, It, it it's pretty use that's pretty useful but technique to have. picked up to put on the inside. We're going to have this go like this. Drop an inch for that. So that's just going to go right there like that. It gives it a little bit of a finishing touch. So... just down here just because I didn't like the way the other one felt while I was putting it down so just a few extra brush strokes there Centered. Let's see how that works. Give it a good rub down. All right. 
wipe up the glue that's on the outside. And as I said, don't worry about it too much because it will just rub off and dries clear. But you don't want to have great big blotches on it. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it open to dry. Okay. And then I'll take a quick picture of it when it's all, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all dry. Don't forget to wash out your brush. Simple, so, simple water, warm water, and it'll be good for the next project. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all done. Now, you can cover it with, as I said, you can cover it with a co two or three coats of Mod Podge and then spray it down with some acrylic sealer that you can get at any art supply store. Um, and there's the inside. And so much prettier than that ugly vinyl thing before. I think my kid will like it. I may even stamp on the outside for him. With his, stamp his name or something on it. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you use just tie up. You're going to make sure that you want to use a large piece of handmade paper or wrapping paper or you can even use um, con contact paper, shelf paper. You can even use contact paper. Here's some that I had used for a previous project. And then if you use this, you're not going to be using your Mod Podge, of course. But something like this will also work. It's a little hard to get, keep from getting air bubbles in it, but um, you just don't want to use something like tissue paper. You want to make sure that it's a nice heavy-duty paper because if you use a wet glue, it's going to rip if it's not strong enough. Alright, hope that helps. Hope you have fun with that. It's a cute little project.